as the next part we are going to do some extended activities of your textbook the first activity is a square and four circles so first select the fifth group tool then regular polygon and plot a point a and plot a point b then in the vertices we will give four then okay so now we got a square now we have to find out the midpoints of each of the sides so second group tool midpoint or center click on the point a and click on the point b then click on the point b and click on the point c then click on the point c and click on the point d then click on the point d and click on the point a so we got all the midpoints now next select the sixth group tool circle with center through point then click on this point e and click on the point a and click on the point e then click on the point b and click on the point e then click on the point c and click on the point f then click on the point d and click on the point g this is our first extended activity the same window we are doing the second activity so again fifth group tool regular polygon plot a point here then another point in the window that opens we are giving the number of vertices as 4 okay so now we got a square now we have to find out the midpoints third group tool midpoint or center then click on this point i then j then as the continuation we are doing that is why we are getting it labeled as j m all those things then click on the point k click on the point then click on the point k then l then l i so we got all the midpoints now we have to draw the circle so sixth group tool circle through three points then click on this point m click on this point p and click on this point n this is our second act now we will save this both file menu save as i am giving the file name as geogebra 6 click on the save button so the next extended activity is again we are going to create a square so fifth group tool regular polygon plot a point a then plot a point b then in the window that opens vertices 4 then click ok now we got a square now we have to find out the midpoints again second group tool midpoint or center then click on the point a click on the point b then b c then c d then d and a so now we got the midpoints now sixth group tool then circular arc then click on the point b click on the point f and click on the point e then click on the point c then click on the point g then f then click on the point d then click on the point h then g then click on the point a then click on this point e then h this is our third activity then fourth one so that's the next activity select the fifth group tool regular polygon then plot a point here then plot another point here then give the number of vertices as 4 then click on the ok button now we got a square now we have to draw a circle around it so sixth group tool circle through three points then click on this point here i then click on this another point here j and click on the point k now we will save this file menu save as giving the file name as geogebra 7 and click on the save button we are going to do the fifth activity so again fifth group tool regular polygon then plot a point here then plot another point here then number of vertices oh, 4 ok and now we have to find out the midpoints so second group tool 
midpoint or center then click on the point A and click on the point D then click on the point D and click on the point C then click on the point B then C then A and B now sixth group tool circular arc then click on this point B then click on this point G to H and click on this point A H to E now again sixth group tool semicircle then click on this point E and click on this point G this is our fifth activity then last activity sixth group tool regular polygon then plot a point here and plot another point then in the vertices we have to give 5 then click ok then we got a pentagon now seventh group tool conic through 5 points then click on this point this point this point and this point you have to click on each and every point of it now we will save this file menu save as then give the file name as GeoGebra 8 click on the save button then to quit from the window file close <laughs>